Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Persia. In the last episode we uh, declared war on Kokand up here and annexed them, which may or may not have been worth the 10 infamy that it costs me, but um, you know, what's done is done. We at least have some more territory now. Um, no great resources up there, but still. Um, we are also having some difficulties in our attempts to sphere uh, Turkey. There is a lot of competition, and everyone has basically been teaming up to kick my opinion down to neutral there. Um, so I think what I might actually do is give up on trying to do that for a while. And maybe we'll turn our attention eastwards and try to sphere maybe Xinjiang here, or Tibet. Or both, why not? Um, I guess our main competition there is going to be Japan. They're at friendly and 70 influence. Um, Russia is also up there, uh, as is the US. But we can give it a try and see where we get with that. We'll just put them up to 4, or sorry, level 3 there. And I guess we'll do the same in Tibet. Even though we are still actively trying to get Egypt in our sphere, we're only at friendly, but Nobody else is really trying, uh, we banned our other major competition in the UK there. So we should be relatively clear to get to 100, even if we uh, turn our focus a bit elsewhere at the same time. Uh, why don't we, I guess, spend the influence that we have in Turkey to get back up to Cordial. But otherwise, not worry about it too much. Romania fears our might. Well, we're not really interested in attacking Romania. We should be able to influence these nations pretty strongly. Our relations are relatively good, um, we could increase them more actually. They're very low score compared to us. Uh, Tibet is not getting the neighboring bonus, are we not bordering Tibet? We're bordering Tibet. So I don't know why they're not getting that, but there you go, West Morocco has rebels. Uh, nothing too terrible looking there, that's fine. Uh, let's go and actually increase relations there. And we should also check if we can build any railroads or anything, which would help us out too. We are not allowed to build railroads there. How about Tibet? We are not allowed there either. Okay. That is fine. Uh, seems like nobody else is actively working to increase their influence here at the moment. So we'll go up to Cordial in Tibet. And the same when we get to 50 here. We may as well go to speed 4. We'd also like for a crisis to fire soon, so we can get involved in some kind of a war, maybe. Looks like there's a couple of likely spots. Don't think there's any uh, great wars going on right now. Just one between uh, Japan and the Chinese Empire. Hmm. Russia has allied with France, okay. We are still allied with Germany, of course. Uh, we should probably try and get another great power ally 
if we can. Who is Germany allied with? UK, Italy. I wonder if we can get the UK. Too many alliances. Presumably for them, not for us. Okay. Alternating current also. We actually dropped to fifth place behind France just now. Which is okay, I suppose. Not a big deal. Okay, and we have a crisis in West Macedonia. Um, Austria-Hungary has decided to back Turkey. Uh, oh, we've been banned. Okay, Japan banned us. That's uh, kind of unfortunate, but at least we got them to spend their influence. Um, we can't lower our, our priority there. Uh, here is looking fine. Nobody has the necessary influence to ban us from Tibet. Okay, so we have backers here. We have Russia versus Austria-Hungary. Um, I guess I will declare my interest in this crisis. I should get a pop-up about it, presumably. Germany has not decided. The UK is looking to support Russia. France is looking to support Russia. Um, I guess we'd like to go on Germany's side, if possible. Lockout. Um, let's see. Poor strata in Tabriz become more socialist. Or rich strata in Tabriz. Etc, etc. We can increase our opinion in Tibet. But I think we'll wait until we get to 100. We'll go straight up to friendly. Looks like even though the UK and Japan are both at friendly, they're not actually actively influencing. So that's fine. Well, I'm going to declare my interest, even though they're apparently not going to give me the usual uh, pop-up about it. Germany is leaning towards supporting Austria-Hungary. Hmm. Well, this is okay. I mean, either, either way, like, if we end up on Russia's side, we could maybe end up taking some land from Turkey. If we end up on Austria-Hungary's side, we could maybe take some land from Russia. Assuming, of course, that it breaks out in war, which may or may not happen. So we're up to 100 in Tibet. We'll increase our opinion. So that gives us a head start on getting to 100, where we can steer them. So France has gone in on Russia's side. Germany now is strongly inclined to support Austria-Hungary. France allied with Switzerland. We finished our research. Uh, I think we'll switch to some military techs now, since we may well get involved in a war soon. Tensions dissipate in Yemen. Uh, we are up to 100 in Egypt. We should definitely go ahead and sphere them right now. And we're getting close to 100 in Tibet. And we'll just immediately sphere them too.
so oil well found in Kokand. Okay, excellent. Good thing we annex them, I guess. All right. Um, supporting Russia, so. We could end up fighting Russia, the UK, if we go in on Germany's side. Uh, that's probably okay. I'm going to assume that the UK, even though they will have some troops in India, uh, we can see some even stationed on our borders. Most of their troops are going to be at home, and they're going to focus on transporting them to Germany, if anywhere. So they shouldn't be too much of a problem. We will have to fight Russia, who are a great power and have 115 brigades, but that's fewer than we have. So I think I'll go ahead and support Germany's side. We'll assume that the UK is going to go in on Russia's side. Oh, and it's ended in white peace. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well. We'll just have to wait for the next crisis. One of them is going to end up in war eventually. And... Something going on here? No, not really. Discovered vacuum tubes, direct current, and Daimler's automobile. Nice. Okay, so things looking pretty good in Tibet. I think I'll start dropping other people's opinions here. Start with Japan. Just to make sure they have more work to do to threaten us there. Um, I think in Egypt we should ban the UK again once we get up to 65. Actually, we'll, we'll wait until they get a bit higher in influence. If we wait until they're near 100, we sort of get more value out of it. Okay, we can make telephone factories now. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. So we just had a lot more factories finished, that's good. Looks like they've actually stopped for the moment. Let's go ahead and ban them now then. I think I'll probably actually decrease their opinion too. UK entered an alliance with Zulu. Alright. I think I'll drop the UK's opinion here too. And maybe the US. And when does our ban expire in Xinjiang? It's already expired, good. So hopefully we won't have any more bannings. It looks like Japan is not actually working on it, and they don't have the influence to ban us again, so we'll just get up to 100 and then increase opinion. Uh, as part of our government's citizenship policy, soldiers of the Home Army have been ordered only to buy goods from Persian traders. This is starting to aggravate already existing tensions in Sukur, as local Sindhi traders feel the effects of government discrimination. So pops in Sindh where they are not Persian or accepted culture will gain militancy. Where they are Persian, they'll gain mil militancy. Um, I don't think there are much Persian or accepted culture pops there, or we would have been able to convert it into a state, so we'll just do this one. Uh, ambassador insulted. 
Can we humiliate CB on Japan? Or we can increase our relations and gain some prestige. Um, humiliating Japan doesn't sound like a terrible idea uh, if we could do it. It seems like that would be a really annoying war to fight though, since we'd have to transport all our troops over by boat and they are on their cluster of islands over here, so they're very easy to defend. We would have to probably build a lot more transports and bring over a much larger army than we are currently capable of transporting. I think I will just not bother doing that and do this one instead. I'd much rather get involved in a nice convenient war against one of my neighbors. Okay, so let's decrease the UK's opinion here. Make sure we're not going to have any problems. And I'll decrease the US to Cordial as well, though I'm not too worried about them. And here we are going to go up to 100 and then increase opinion. Okay. See if we're likely to get any more crisis uh, crises happening anytime soon. Up to ninety percent here, one hundred percent in Romania. So probably one pretty soon. New store in Abu Dhabi. Scientists in our country have discovered autarky, giving us less loan interest and lower factory costs. Do we have any loans? We do have some outstanding loans. Uh, we should definitely repay. Um, let's lower our taxes a bit on the rich. Uh, we can actually afford to lower them a bit on the middle and poor strata too. They aren't quite getting their needs. Go down to 90% on these. Yeah, let's just go to 95% on the poor. We don't want to let them off too easy. Uh, we don't need to be spending on this either, which I should have noticed previously. And we can get our education spending back up. And also administration. Alright. New store in Quetta. More army organization. And I'll actually increase it. Just now, why not? It's close enough. Aristocrats incite the peasantry. Um, all aristocrats in eastern Afghanistan can gain consciousness and farmers gain militancy, or we can kill 10% of the aristocrats in eastern Afghanistan and they gain 8 militancy. Hmm. Let's just do this one. Looks like Austria-Hungary is having a pretty bad time here. Oh, I guess they are actually at war. Serb conquest of Austria-Hungarian Austro Austro Croatia. So, Serbia wants to acquire Austro-Hungarian Croatia. Romania wants to acquire Slovakia. Okay, and Germany is helping them out, so they're definitely going to win. Austria-Hungary is having a pretty bad time then. Ambassador insulted. So we could gain a Humiliate CB on Japan again. But for the same reasons as before, I'm going to say no.
Rebels in West Morocco. Wow, that is a healthy looking Romania. Uh, Serbia, it looks like, didn't get what they wanted, did they? I forgot already what it was they were trying to take. Anyway. Austria, Hungary, definitely not looking too hot. Um, okay, allied with Turkey. Looks like uh, France has pulled pretty far ahead of us. They're about 300 points ahead of us, so we're not really catching them. Looks like we're going to need them to lose another nasty war to uh, get ahead of them again. Okay. Well, we're out of time for this episode, so thanks for watching, and join me again next time.